perking you up. It's mornings with Al Faraby on CFAX 1070. Well, the Victoria Grizzlies hockey team season was on the line last night in Colwood. And so we can uh, tell you, right? well, here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll let uh, our guest uh, talk a little bit about what happened in the game last night. John Wilson is uh, Victoria Grizzlies uh, owner and president, and he joins us live. Good morning to you. How are you? Morning, all doing well. How about yourself? Pretty good so far. So, uh, last night, just for those that are waking up, why don't we update everybody as to what happened? I'll let you tell the tale. What happened last night? Uh, well, we got we got off to a slow start to say the least. We were down three one at the end of one, four one at the end of two, and um, right into the midway mark of the third period, still down four one. And uh, at about the eight minute mark or six minute mark, sorry, the um, we started our comeback and scored three goals uh, with the uh, tying goal with less than two minutes left to send the game into overtime. And um, uh, that overtime uh, wound up into uh, double overtime, and unfortunately, midway through the second overtime period, uh, Paul River uh, scored a goal uh, about the ten-minute mark, um, and uh, we went down to defeat. And uh, that was a series, so we lost four games to two to Paul River, and what turned out to be quite an epic um, physical and uh, end-to-end battle. Um, both last night and in the whole six-game series. So a heartbreaking way to end it, and they always are when it comes to those double overtime losses, especially on, on home ice. But uh, but it is the nature of playoff hockey, too. I mean, like you say, these are two teams that really, really went after it hard. Absolutely, yeah. In the BC Hockey League, to be honest with you, the... Um the standings come playoff time mean very little. Like the, the teams are so close. Um, you have um, uh, 16 to 20 year old uh, junior hockey players that um, step it up. Injuries um, in your top six or, or goaltending or, or uh, top defenseman mean uh, you know can can push a series one way or the other. Powell River, very very good team, extremely hard to beat in Powell River, and our boys did well just to come out of Powell River um, three games in three nights and to win one of those games. So to bring Bring the game back, uh, bring the series back to Victoria, and uh, and fortunate for our fans to be able to be entertained last night. The the way they were um, reminded us a lot of a game that happened last year that uh, in Game Seven against Alberta Valley that wound up going to triple overtime. We were fortunate enough to win that one, but. Yep. Uh, Luck wasn't on our side last night. There you go. Uh, John Wilson, our guest, he's president and owner of the Victoria Grizzlies Hockey Club. Heartbreaking loss last night ends the season. So uh, let's talk about moving forward. And obviously uh, off the ice, there were some challenges, and uh, there's there's no hiding or secret in that. On the ice, uh, the players were great, but tell me uh, what the future of this club looks like to you moving forward. Well, we felt a real momentum shift um, um, in the uh, in the new year. We we've got a lot of people. Um, we have an ownership group of ten. Um, everybody has stepped forward, and and we've got some some volunteers from the community. Uh, Lance Black, uh, Bob Saunders, Dave Saunders have all stepped in to help us. Jim Swanson has helped us with some media relations. And uh, everybody doing it on their own time, trying to get the um, momentum back to uh, the Grizzlies hockey. Uh, we there's no secret the the um, the attendance was sagging um, in in in, due, in part somewhat to the Royals, but but mainly because of um, there's just so much to do these days, so much going on with minor hockey, and in particular the big change I believe is the um, on TV. You can watch hockey on TV any night any game you want pretty much which is a big change in in the scene in uh for for in the last 5 years for sure but uh um we our intended our attendance wound up around the uh 700 800 mark average we had close to a thousand in the rink last night the um uh the Q center out there is is quite uh, a um uh Unique building when uh, when you can get the fans in and has a lot of atmosphere and and can be quite intimidating for the opposing uh, team when we can get some bums and seats and uh, we need to get around fifteen hundred um, to make that happen. Uh, the the community is coming back. We have pretty much all the corporate boxes sold for next year, which is a a, a first for us in in three four years, um, and we believe. Uh, it's still a great family product, an affordable family product, an entertaining product, as seen last night. And um, we're hoping that uh, both corporately and uh, individually and family-wise, we can get uh, everybody back behind the Grizzlies and, and keep the team in Victoria playing um, in Colwood and uh, 
and moving forward. So everybody's on the same page as far as uh, moving forward for next season, and then it's just a matter of uh, uh, of uh, that uh, constant commitment to uh, to the product with uh, with people like you, but uh, but the community as well to really rally around this team. Uh, I sense that uh, people like yourselves and, and others involved, you're not in it to make a, a huge profit. You're just in it because uh, you love it and it should be a part of our community. Absolutely, yeah. There's ten, ten as I mentioned, ten people in the ownership group, and and we all we all came in with no expectation. I've, I've been involved with junior hockey before with the Peninsula Panthers and Junior B, and and yeah, making money is is not something you you're, you're going to do in, in junior hockey these days, and, and at this level, anyways. And it's a community, it's a hockey um, commitment, and um, everybody's in it just to try to make the Victoria Grizzlies work. Um, they were on uh, on their you know last breath last December uh, when this ownership group came in and um, took it through the season. We had an exciting playoffs last year, and um, and this year we had our own challenge. We had some challenges uh, um, at the coaching GM uh, uh, position, and uh, we were able to bring Craig Didman back and and. Um, Really trying to get more of a local sense to the team, local ownership. Mm-hmm. We're committed uh, moving into next year to about a 50-50 uh, mix of uh, local players and out-of-town players. Um, reaching out to uh, the, the corporate uh, community, particularly in the West Shore, um, trying to get them back involved. And uh, again, the main the main um, uh, thing we need to work on is get, is get those uh, uh, season tickets up and uh, people back into the arena to watch the game the games um we we're in negotiations now with uh or we'll be starting coming up with west shore parks and rec our lease is up at uh at the at the key center and and but we we want to stay there we 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 like the arena we want to be in the west shore we want we believe it's our our home and we're um we're looking forward to um to coming to an agreement with them and then staying them for staying there for years to come i have heard uh rumblings about us moving and and um, you know even to a different arena or out of, out of the community altogether, and that that is not what our goal is. Our goal is to keep this team here in Victoria and for uh, a long period. John, I appreciate the update this morning, and obviously we'll stay in touch uh, with uh, you and uh, the future of the Victoria Grizzlies Hockey Club. But thanks for the uh, the moment this morning to talk about a few things. No worries. Thanks very much, y'all. That's Take John care. Wilson. Yeah, thanks, John. John Wilson's president and owner of the Victoria Grizzlies. Duffy with a little bit more in sports coming up. We need to take a break for the 7 o'clock news coming up next on CFAX 1070.